We know that pasture-raised chickens are healthier, they lay healthier eggs, but what if you don't have a lot of room and your chickens don't have access to pasture? Does that mean that you shouldn't have chickens? Um, of course it doesn't. I'm gonna show you today how to pasture-raise your chickens without pasture. When I was a little girl, I wanted to save the world. When that didn't happen, I decided to create my own world where things changed for the better every single day. Welcome to Chickenlandia. Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest that you can call me the president of Chickenlandia. So recently I posted a video all about sprouting grains and seeds for your chickens as a way to give them some of the nutrition that they're missing out on when they don't have access to pasture. But today I want to show you another really nifty way that you can get greens into your chickens and have them be locally grown in your chicken yard. Now we all know that any plant growing in the chicken yard is not gonna have a chance in heck <laughs> because chickens will destroy any type of vegetation that they have access to. But one way that you can grow vegetation in your chicken yard is to use what's called chicken salad bars and you can make them yourself. And no, I'm not talking about chicken salad like the, with mayo. <laughs> we don't talk about that here. What I'm actually talking about is right here. Super simple to make. It's just two by fours with hard wire mesh stapled on top of it. And then the greens grow up through the wiring. That way the chickens can nibble on it, but they can't destroy it. What I have growing in mine right now is the chicken salad mix from My Pet Chicken. I really like this one. The chickens just love it. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna actually try a different seed mix and I'm gonna show you that in just a second. I'm gonna lift up one of these and just let the chickens go for it and then replant some new seeds. Just full disclosure here, I actually didn't build these myself. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, then you know that my friend Julie and her wife Chris actually built these for me. If you wanna see a really easy tutorial, I would recommend visiting a channel called Rock and Sea Homestead, and I'm gonna put their video in the description here. It's a real easy tutorial, plus their channel is super fun. It's this couple, they've got goats. They're just really sweet, so I highly recommend them. They were like digging it up and messing up my soil. <laughs> God, I'm sweating. <laughs> I feel like David Attenborough. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, they're growing in really well. This is the seed mix I used. You gotta wait. Superfood micro green mix, and I'll put the link to this in the description. Honey, can you give me a minute? <laughs> so these salad bars are a little bit different than the ones that they make on Rock and Sea Homestead, but they do the same thing. However you can figure out how to make something like this, I think it would be great for your flock. And it will help them to get some pasture without a lot of room, which is the goal. I've got so many chickens over here next to me. <laughs> I usually get a lot of help when I'm making things like this, and that's okay. If you can't do everything yourself, that is okay. Haters to the left. Now, if you wanna see something that I'm really proud of that I worked on with Julie and her kiddo, Annika, you should definitely click right here. It's the renovation that I did of my chicken coop last year. Of course, it's 100% friendly backyard chicken, education and entertainment. You will love it, and oh my gosh, who is being so loud? <laughs> ah! 